A new offering for you addicts, the official Crackhead Citizen Drop. A special Bassmasters Classic only release from Mega Bass and the worldwide premiere of a banger from Tackle. The Max Squeaker is here. This is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle. Welcome back, my friends. I'm Ben with the Hookup Tackle, the Tackle Otaku on Instagram, being joined this amazingly peaceful, calm, happy Sunday morning by my buddy CJ. Hey, Man, hey. what a blessing to see your smiley face instead of that grumpy dude that's usually here. What's up, my friend? How's it going? Would you like a beer to start your Sunday? Oh, dude, you know I would love one. Oh, I hope Jeff's watching Classic. so he can learn how to be a man Oof. instead of a little bitch. Orion, the finest the best. Sunday starter. Have at it, CJ. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, that sounds good. I missed that sound. Cheers, my friends. Happy Sunday. I hope you guys are having an amazing weekend so far. We have some super sick stuff today. Uh, by the way, you just saw the teaser for the brand new Max Squeaker from Tekel. We're going to dive into that in a second, but first, the first sip of Sunday. Gotta have it. Cheers, my friends. Mm -hmm. By the way, if you're new here, you're probably wondering what the hell is going on. <laughs> this is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle. We're gonna highlight some new product drops. We're gonna talk about some restocks, and we're gonna hang out, drink beer, make fun of Jeff since he's not here. It's easy pickings. It's like Dude, picking on my kid. You are glowing today. I can't tell you how happy I am. <laughs> Nobody has said yes to me for a beer in a long, long time. So Dude, this is great, CJ. Way. Yeah, it's been a while. All right, we're diving in to the official release of a bait that I've been super stoked to bring to you guys. This is the new buzz bait from Tekel. This is the Max Squeaker. Now, if you guys are old, like some people around here, like myself, you will recognize this bait. This bait has been on the market before four by another brand. You guys may know it as a squeaky fish kind of thing, right? <laughs> uh, if you are not old, this is gonna be a new concept. I'm really excited to get this in your hands. If you guys like having fun, then you probably throw a buzz bait when you mm -hmm. fish. One of my favorite ways to fish. This is gonna become a staple in your arsenal. So let's break this down really quick. By the way, there's six colors in this. Okay, there's white, there's a bluegill, there's a shad, there's a chartreuse white, there's a black blue, and there's a black or solid black. Okay, so black with black blade. Okay, now pay attention. The blade colors are kind of important here because I'm gonna I'm gonna break this down. So I'm just gonna grab what color shows best, CJ. Uh, you know what? Let's go with something cool like uh, what's shad color? Shad. That one's pretty cool. Oh, just kidding. How about blue? Gil? Yes, let's go with that one. <laughs> All right, She's so Max Squeaker, when you guys think of buzz baits, you probably think of a squeak, right? That's usually kind of what everybody wants. Everybody wants that blade to be super squeaky in the water. And historically, what we've done to create a squeak is we've held these out our car window and we're driving down so that the prop is just through mm -hmm. there. And basically what we're doing is we're trying to wear the back rivet against the blade, right? So if that back rivet that attaches that blade to the shaft starts wearing down, it creates a squeak. Well, what Tekel has done is they've solved two problems, okay? First problem is they've eliminated that rear rivet. And by doing that, they've incorporated a brass, we're just gonna call it a brass nut, okay? It's kind of a rivet, but it's more of a brass nut right in the middle of the blade. So instead of the blade attaching here with the rivet, it's being held in place by this brass rivet and that brass rivet 
kind of touches the blade in two spots. So as that blade is turning on that brass, it's squeaking, it's rubbing, and it's scratching. So right out of the box, it's squeaky. Okay, no more having to tune this or, you know, fish it for a long time to get the squeak. In fact, you don't want to hold this out your car window and let it go because then you're just gonna kind of wear the blade out. It's ready to go right out of the package. So do there. not yep. go that. Okay, we don't need to do that. Yes. Okay. Or it's getting locked. <laughs> okay, understood. The other thing that eliminating that rear rivet does is when Hideki was creating this bait, he wanted it to be very weedless. And what he found is that when that rivet's back there, it catches all the weeds, right? That blade is spinning the grass and the aquatic vegetation around the shaft, and you're just constantly pulling and picking grass off your buzz bait. This eliminates that. It virtually makes it weedless going through. You're not gonna snag on there. You've got the squeak right out. It does have a brass knocker on the head. So as it comes from the package, you're gonna see that that blade is designed to kind of hit the head. So if you want extra sound, it's gonna be basically a squeaky knocker. But if you just flex the wire just a touch, then it's going to spin without hitting it. And now you've got quiet and squeaky. So very easy, just little flex, you're back to hitting. Little flex this way, you're back to not hitting, and you've got two in one, basically. Now, you're also going to get, you know, normal things like a hand cut, hand trim skirt. Uh, the head is designed to track true, whether it's going slow speed or fast speed. It's also a special like elongated flat head design so that it comes up and over cover very good. CJ and I were filming with Hideki uh, not too long ago mm -hmm. with these and we were throwing over log jams through wood, through places that a lot of times you would hit with a buzz bait and the buzz bait will turn and you end up snagging. This is designed to just kind of bounce right up and over so it's gonna be a lot uh, more snag resistant, I would say, than other buzz baits. It's got a really strong, really sharp kind of flipping hook style hook on it. Uh, and it's long too. So, you know, when those fish come up to strike, you've got a long hook back there, it has a bait keeper. So if you want to throw, you know, a paddle tail or whatever on there, of course you guys can do that as well. So one more thing on that brass rivet, this rear wire here is actually a grooved wire. Okay, you can hear me squeaking it, right? So that's designed for this piece here to actually unscrew. So this is actually two pieces. So they unscrew down the shaft of this. So you can take your blades off. If you want a silver blade instead of a gold, you can, if you had, you know, say this guy, you can swap these blades. You want white with gold and bluegill with silver, easy. You just unscrew the one, take it off, Screw the other one on, just tighten it back up, and you're just gonna screw it all the way to the end. Boom, you've got it done. You can swap it for the black. So you can interchange these blade colors all you want. The other thing that's great about this system is that if you do wear a blade out and you just love the buzz bait, you can always just replace the blade. For me, by the time my blade wears out, my buzz bait's usually gone. It looks like World War III happened on my buzz bait. <laughs> so I'm good like retiring it, but I love the ability to change the blade color. That's something that's really key because if you dive through topwater fishing and you really kind of geek out on it, those small little nuances can make a big difference. And there's times where, you know, they only want a gold blade or only want a silver blade or only want a painted blade, right? So it gives you some options. So six colors. It's an amazing buzz bait. If you guys are topwater fishermen, you're going to want this in your arsenal. Half ounce, one size, easy. It's mm -hmm. a simple system designed to fish with a skirt because that's what Hideki prefers. Uh, but we are throwing them both ways. I usually like this one just with the skirt. I'm more of a skirt guy anyways, but if you like putting a horny toad or a, you know, a paddle tail or a kite tag or something on there, it holds it great as well. So there you go. The official release, the Max Squeaker from Tekel is available now. All right, and really quick while you're on Tekel, uh, we did get a big restock of one of my favorite, I throw this year round, but in the spring, especially uh, the Tekel Blade Waker is back. It's been a while since we've had all the colors in this. The Blade Waker, uh, a lot of you guys are familiar with. If you're not familiar with the Blade Waker, the Blade Waker is a chatter style bait that is designed to be fished more like a wake bait or on the surface, more so than a subsurface 
chatterbait. Now you can, of course, use it as a subsurface chatterbait, but you'll notice that the blade is very unique. Uh, and it's designed to really churn and wake on the top. The hook has a little bit of a weed guard. It's a very strong flipping style hook. This is an unbelievable chatterbait, again, for fishing the same way you'd fish that Max Weaker. Throw it over wood, throw it over log jams, throw it through the nastiest shit you can imagine. And where most chatterbaits are going to turn and snag, this one just boop, pops right up and over. So if you guys are fishing shallow water that's around a lot of nasty stuff, this thing is money. I recommend some kind of fluke style trailer on it, a Sakamata Shad or Super Fluke, something like that. Uh, Zako works great. Or, you know, you, of course you can put a paddle tail, uh, but I really like just that more fork tail, single tail, something like that. So if you want to try something different, half ounce, one size, simple colors, white, uh, you know, green pumpkin, there's fire crawl, right? So check those out. Blade Wakers are back. <laughs> All right, CJ, are you ready to talk about some crackheads? Let's tweak it out. All right, let's talk about some crackheads. So just in case you guys weren't here last week for our cokehead drop, people are going to be wondering, what the hell channel is this if you're new? <laughs> so uh, bear with us. If you missed out on cokehead or you need a reminder, this is a little reminder of cokehead. All right, so crackhead is part two to this drop, okay? So in the process of working with Mike and working class zero on developing this color, you know, cokehead was like a pure, white, beautiful, clear, transparent color, and it came out exactly the way we wanted it. But through the process, you know, a lot of our water this year was kind of skankier, nastier, mm -hmm. dirtier. And so we wanted a color that really fit that. So we literally played with dozens of different samples. We wanted to create a bait that had just a little more griminess to it, a little funkier, a little dirtier, right? And so we took all these out and kept tweaking it. We added a little eggshell. We added some extra heat. We overcooked it a little bit and boom, we have crackhead. Okay, so this is a very, very close color to cokehead. It's exactly the same pearl inside of it. So it is, let me open this up. Crackhead is another white base color. It is a solid white with that purple pearl swirl, and it is a semi-transparent bottom now. So the cokehead was basically a pure, transparent, clear with a green pearl swirl. Now we've kind of turned up the heat. We've mixed in some eggshell, we overcooked it a little bit to give it just this slight, almost yellowing, bonish kind of look. So in hand, it almost looks like maybe it's lived at the bottom of my boat for a few <laughs> weeks, right? I've stepped on it, it's got dirty. But when you put this in the water, it has this beautiful, amazing bone hue to it that just the fish love it. You guys are gonna catch a ton of fish on it. It's kind of a fun color. It's kind of an interesting one-two punch. So if you missed out on Cokehead, dude, this is so close, right? But it's just a slight tweak uh, that you guys fish in a little funkier water are going to appreciate. It's available in a six inch and a seven inch, okay? So you can knock yourself out. Uh, this is the new Citizen with the built-in uh, head harness. So if you guys are using a beast hook, then you just take the CPS spring off the beast hook, you untwist this, the beast hook attaches there, you twist on there and it's built in and locked in so the front doesn't tear. Six aught is the recommended beast hook for the six inch size. I personally prefer the ADOT. I love the ADOT beast hook. I have so much confidence in it. 
might think some crazy. Uh, the ADA also gives you a flashy swimmer option as well. But just note, if you use the ADA on here, you may experience a little more tearing than you will on the six aught. The seven inch uh, requires a 10 aught, okay? And that fits it perfect. Now, if you're concerned about tearing, which you should be concerned about tearing with any soft plastic uh, swim bait, Mendit's gonna be your friend here, or we also just got a restock, first one in a long time, Ooh. of the Working Class Zero SB Weld. So this is basically the Working Class Zero version of Mendit. Very right? nice. So a really good soft plastic glue designed specifically for his plastic formulas. Uh, so, you know, if you're throwing a lot of citizens, tyrants, battle shads, that kind of stuff, the SB Welds, uh, a great thing to pick up, it's only nine bucks. A good thing to have in hand. It's basically like a fingernail polish type thing, right? You get a little brush, you just brush it on the plastic, you hold the plastic together and it's back, right? So it's like super glue, but it's actually soft and pliable and not really crunchy, okay? So that would be a good option that I would definitely add. Also, from Working Class Zero, we also have his tungsten swim bait nail weights. Okay, so these are available in a couple different sizes. These are great for fine tuning baits. Okay, so if you have a bait that you wanna fish a little faster, if you have a bait that's maybe rolling a little bit more, this could be anything from a citizen to a tyrant to, I mean, you don't have to use it on working class zero bait, use it on any bait you want to. These are nice because they have all the reverse barbs on them, so when you stick them in, they're, they're in. They're not gonna come out even on big line heavy casts. Okay, so working class zero tungsten nail weights, also available this week. So enjoy the crackhead, my friends. I am glad that there's so many addicts out there uh, that are enjoying the, I don't know, it's kind of a fun thing. It's stupid, mm -hmm. right? But it's kind of fun. So go catch some fish on crackhead. Enjoy, scoop those up now from Working Class Hero. By the way, this is a one-time drop, okay? So if it speaks to you, please be fast. I know they're probably flying out of here already because we've been posting on Instagram. So scoop them as fast as you can, enjoy it. See ya. All right, while we're on Working Class Hero, we also see a restock this week in the Working Class Zero travel board. So this is a great board. You know, Working Class Zero kind of started the whole like board craze. They have those amazing wood boards built out of skate decks. This is the travel version that is much easier to store, much easier to carry with you. So, you know, if you're a bank guy or, you know, a kayak guy or a boat guy doesn't want to lug a big, huge skate deck around, uh, this gives you a great option, but still gives you the ability to record your catches. Obviously, rolls up nice and easy. You can unvelcro it, and it rolls out, and you have this great board. So you can lay your fish down, you can take a picture, you can remember everything that you caught. On the back, there is also kind of like a uh, like a bookkeeping system. That's so cool. all your trophies, you can put the date, the length, the weight, and you can kind of keep your trophies, you know, right here. If you're like me, you're gonna probably fill one of these up every month. <laughs> uh, if you're like Griff or like Jeff, you know, one's probably a lifetime board, right? <laughs> so depending on, you know, your skill level, uh, there's some options, but these come in a variety of colors. So this is the red that I'm showing you guys right now. So you got red, you have a cool kind of mustard yellow. You have a really nice blue. It's kind of like a darker, yeah, it's almost like a grayish blue. It's a really nice color. Uh, there's black, of course, right? There's silver. There's a brown. So if you're kind of a boring, woodsy, hippie guy, it's brown. There there's also a green. And then finally there's Gypsy, which is kind of like a cool, like lavender color. So there you go. Working Class Zero Travel Boards back in stock. All right, CJ, let's jump over to Mega Bass really quick. So at the Bassmasters Classic, Mega Bass launched a color called GP Pro Blue Secret. It's a classic only color. It wasn't supposed to make it out of the classic, but some leaked out. And so we are delivering the small batch that we have to you guys. I have not posted anything about this because honestly, there's not enough to create any kind of frenzy. So if you're hearing this and this color speaks to you, get them now because they're gonna sell out because there's just not that many of them, okay? So here is the color. GP Pro Blue Secret is the name of the color. It will be listed under each one of these. It's available in three baits. The EdoVision 110, the EdoVision 110 Plus One, and the EdoVision 110 Plus One Junior. 
Okay, so it's available in each one of those. Now, the color's pretty straightforward. It's basically almost kind of like Pro Blue with a chartreuse belly. Yeah, it's like they took Elegy and Pro Blue and kind of combined them, right? Mm -hmm. But it's got a little bit of a nuance to it that's slightly different, that's kind of hard to tell in pictures. So here's a look at the color. So you've basically got this beautiful GP Pro Blue color, and then it's got this kind of unique pearl chartreuse. It's almost an illusion chartreuse. So depending on how the color shifts, it looks more pearl or it looks more chartreuse -y. Through the bait, it looks more chartreuse than sometimes it does on the bottom. So it's a really nice, clean color. It's obviously a color that's gonna catch a ton of fish. Um, so if that speaks to you, it was a one-time run that they did specifically for the 2024 Bassmasters Classic. So when they're gone, they're gone. There's no more of these available. So if you guys are 110 fans and this is a color that might do good for you, the color looks exactly the same in the 110, the plus one, and the plus one junior. So you guys can scoop those up while supplies last. Classic release. What do you think about that? It's nice. I think it'll get a bit. Yeah, it's definitely a color that's gonna get bites. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know, you got some blue, you got some chartreuse, it's it shaped like a minnow. Different. Yeah, there it yeah. is. That's exactly. All right, while we are on 110s, a pretty big restock across the board on jerkbaits this week. 110s, plus ones, plus one juniors. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have been dying for like classic colors, like GB Stain Reaction has been evaporating out of here. Uh, Stain Reaction OB, Matt Shad has been evaporating out of here. Uh, but as of this moment, there's some of everything around uh, MRB Shad as well, another one that's been flying out with spring. So this is a great week to check that out. Also, we saw a very slight restock in GP Phantom, which was last uh, Respect Series color. I know a lot of you guys have been looking for the 110, the Junior, the Pop Max in GP Phantom. They are back, they are on the GP Phantom Respect page. So if you need to scoop up more or if you missed out, this is gonna be your last chance to scoop those. And then Matt Shad, you know, obviously that was a classic winning color. Mm -hmm. We're doing the best we can to keep it around. Uh, but Matt Shad kind of trickles down some other baits too. So the S-Crank, the Sonic side, uh, Deep Six we'll talk about here in a minute, all back in stock uh, this week from Mega Bass. All right, I just mentioned that Matt Shad returns in the Deep Six. This was a super popular, one of the new colors for Mega Bass in the Deep Six. Uh, we also get the other colors back in stock this week. GLXS Spawn Cherry is back. Old Z is back. Oops. Good catch. Yep. And Frozen Tequila is back. The color Oof. that sells out instantly every time. Oh yeah. Uh, trust me, there's not enough. Mm -mm. Okay, we're not getting full orders filled right now, uh, but I'm just gonna keep telling you when they come and if you need them, scoop them up. Okay, so those all return. Also back in Matt Shad this week is the Ice Slide. So the Ice Slide 187R in both the Intermediate and Sync. This is called actually Bone Bory Pro Blue, uh, which is just so stupid because it's it's Matt Shad. It's Matt Shad. So it looks you so know good what? in that bait, I might though. just change it to Matt Shad. It's it's Matt Shad. So don't let the color confuse you. Uh, but the Ice Slide 187, super dope bait. And for the first time this week, I know a lot of you guys have been hesitant to get it because Ice Slides are so dependent on their tails. We finally have replacement tails also for the Ice Slide. So. Uh, the new replacement tails for the ice slides are here. These do fit the old ice slides as well. So if you needed tails for the old ice slide, it's gonna change a little bit. It's a different shape. It's gonna slightly change the action, but they will fit in the bait as well. Uh, but for your new baits, ice slide replacement tails are here. Uh, also a big restock this week for Mega Bass on pa clear pouches. The Wilderness Jacket is back. That's that brand new rain jacket. It's super sick. Yeah. That's back. Uh, so great big week from Mega Bass. Take a look. Lots of stuff there. Let's keep going. All right, CJ. There's going to be quite a lot of stuff over the next few weeks trickling in from OSP. Okay. So if you guys are OSP fans, stay tuned. Lots of cool things happening. We've got the new HP Fish that should be out here maybe next week, maybe the week after. Karen's, if you guys have pre-ordered Karen's, thank you guys for the patience. They are finally almost here. They just cleared customs, so we should be able to ship all those out next week and whatever's left. We will drop next weekend for you guys. We have some new custom colors. This week, we have a new tackle box. Ooh, looks good. Okay, so I know I just talked about baits and now I'm talking about boxes, but it's kind of a cool little box, yeah. right? So uh, this is the new 
uh, box from OSP. OSP is going to start diving more into, you know, hard goods, soft goods, that kind of stuff. Uh, so you're going to see a lot of stuff dripping from them. This is a 3010 size, pretty much like a lunchbox size. Has three dividers, so if you want it to just be a big open compartment, it can be that. If you want to put the dividers and use it, you know, for your baits, you can do that as well. Pretty straightforward. It's going to be, you know, a lot like a lot of the other lunch boxes you guys are used to, but with some cool OSP branding uh, and the semi-transparent hood. So there you go, 12 bucks, easy. Yeah, nice simple box. Also, while we're on OSP, we are doing a promo. Okay, this is only going to be for 48 hours. Okay, so we are doing an OSP buy one get one free promo on all do live gills. Okay, so whether it's the two inch or the 3.6 inch buy one get one free okay so a lot of you guys love this bait this bait is actually going away no so to kind of like wipe the tears away mm. and say goodbye we're just going to promo it out uh it will return but for now this is going to be your last chance to scoop these up so if you guys are a fan you're going to want to get on this buy one get one free basically you know 10 buck pack of baits you get another one for free so pretty good deal for OSP so while supplies last uh, that deal is going on right now just for today and tomorrow so scoop them up all right ship over to Lucky Craft really quick so if you've watched these videos each week the last few weeks have just been like LV 500 LV 500 LV 500 they are just cranking LV 500s right now which I am appreciative of I love the LV 500 a few colors to let you guys know about that haven't been around in a while. So Lens Aurora Black is back. This is the All Aurora Black that's got that kind of lens coating. Gorgeous Purple Chartreuse Gill is back. It's just kind of a nice springtime color. And Light Hitch finally is back. So we got the Pointer 128 and Clear Lake Hitch uh, a couple weeks back. Now we have Light Hitch back in the LV500. Uh, this is a staple color it's been a stable color in swim baits in hard baits you know lv 500 for us west coasters really is a clear lake bait it's where the bait became famous it's where we all learned how to throw it and then we've taken it from clear lake and we now throw it everywhere obviously uh and it's trickled back but hitch is a bait fish that lives in clear lake and it's just a really natural bait fish pattern it's kind of like a bronzish gold back uh kind of a clearish belly so this would be an amazing gizzard shad pattern as well uh just a little minnow pattern it's just a great all-around kind of you know nice almost ghost minnow alternative so clear lake hitch uh back in the lv 500. We also see a restock in a bunch of the 128s, speaking of 128s, uh, including Ghost Minnow Soccer, which sold out right away. It's basically kind of that morning dawn hit on the bottom of Ghost Minnow. Uh, but the 128, a staple bait for Lucky Craft for a long time, went away. We resurrected it a couple weeks back, so now that one returns as well. And going the opposite direction, the LC 1.0 DD DRS, we see Pearl Threadfin Shad, and pink dragon gill uh, available now in this base. This is a 55 millimeter, 10 grams. So you're talking about a 3 8 ounce bait. I kind of make fun of pink dragon gill sometimes because it's just a crazy color. It's crazy. But in this bait, I think it's pretty dope. So, you know, they, you know, smallmouth for sure. Oh, yeah. Just crack over, you know, pink. So now you've got this. This, by the way, it's a semi-transparent pink. So a little bit of light goes through it. You've got just this beautiful kind of pink gill pattern in a bait that has that DD so or DRS. So that one knocker sound uh, in a 1.0 DD. So this is going to be a great one to throw up on the bank. Just kind of grind around some rocks, you know, fish it basically banked, I'd say like eight foot perfect for that so there you go a couple new colors from lucky craft this week while we're on some hard baits a uh new one for us not necessarily new to the market but one that really i haven't really seen much traction for but the shimano world minnow has just been absolutely crushing them so here is the shimano zumverno 95 sp good mm. name right zumverno yes. that Say makes that sense uh it's basically a 95 millimeter version of the world minnow so it's a suspending jerkbait. It has the same flash boost in it. Let me see if I can take one out. I am literally, it's like I ate through this package. Good <laughs> job. I guess I should have gone in through the bottom, but. What is it, a Zinferno? Zumverno. Zumverno. Yeah. Uh, but just a all around, you know, 
it's a suspending jerk bait. 95 millimeters, uh, but it has that flash boost inside, which is basically that piece inside that's moving. So it's going to engage when you twitch it. And then on the pause, it's still kind of flexing there a lot like maybe a fin or a gill or just something alive. Look, it's a, it's a technology, it's something different. And a lot of you guys have been catching fish on the World Minnow, so this would be a good downsizing alternative uh, if that's a bait that you like. So Zimverno from Shimano in stock. Also, two new sizes from Jackal in the Derecoupe. So the Derecoupe is one of our best-selling tailspins. Uh, we sell gazillions of Derecoupes every year. It's just a really good, no-nonsense, simple tailspin. Uh, so we see the addition of quarter ounce and three-eighth ounce now in the Derecoupe. So all the colors uh, stay the same, just two smaller sizes, which is nice uh, for you guys. Just need a little bit smaller option, maybe a little shallower water option, slower sinking option. You've got the two new sizes there from Jackal. A couple of restocks really quick to mention to you guys. Uh, Roman Made isn't a brand we talk about here a lot because I mean, in full transparency, supply really sucks with Roman Made. I mean, they're, you know, they're difficult baits to get. Uh, they're difficult baits to make. Uh, so when they come, I usually just let you guys know that some are in stock. So both the mother and negotiator are back. Uh, I believe there's five or six colors in stock on the, on the negotiator and two in the mother. The mother's gonna be both wood grain colors. One's got a green back, one's got a blue back. The negotiator has some wood grain colors. Also, there's a red color and there's another color. But the wood grain colors are just really nice and natural. I'll take one out. We'll play that we don't play with Roman made that often. So uh, they come in a book form, so they make <laughs> you feel smart. Looks right? good. Yeah, mm -hmm. so kind of the only book that I've opened in a very long time. And inside you have, of course, the Roman made card, and then you have the bait inside. Let's see if I can open it out without completely tearing it. I love that they leave the wood grain look. It's such a cool look. I dig the wood grain on the negotiator and on the mother. I'm not big on it on like the chaser. No? For me, that's just too big. Uh, this one's locked in there, so here, I'll just hold it up. <laughs> Let's so, see that book. There you go. Okay, so you've got that nice kind of just natural bait fish pattern. You get the white belly, the wood grain side, and a little bit of coloration on the back. So uh, you'll notice some of the colors are green back, some are blue back, you know, different purple back, right? So. There you go. If this speaks to you, uh, this might be a good one. You know, a lot of swim bait guys are just super dedicated on the Roman made front. So it might be a perfect addition to your lineup. You ever throw these? Yeah, I've thrown the, the uh, negotiator a good amount. I like it. The mother's sweet, but it's like I'm throwing a piece of art, you know? The negotiator's an easy one to throw. It is. Anybody can throw that on any kind of heavier action rod, but the mother? The mother's just a challenge. Yeah, so, a you know, the mother's gonna put you back almost 500 bucks, 479, by the way, it's, I think it's 175 for a negotiator, uh, 475 for a mother. Uh, I mean, a much bigger bait. Oh yeah. Right, so now we're in that like 10 ounce class, hand carved wood bait, you know, it's a beast. But a lot of you guys love this stuff. You're probably young and in shape, <laughs> and you probably don't drink as much beer as I do. Uh, so you probably enjoy doing it. So if that is you, uh, while supplies last, there are some available. Yeah, that's a big bitch. Yeah. While we're talking about swim bait restocks, uh, also a restock across the board on Spro Chad Shads. Uh, this has become kind of everybody's staple. I would say Shad Glide. I mean, we sell gazillions of them now. Yeah. Uh, but some colors we've been out of, the Ghost Trout is back, Ghost Perch is back, all the Shads are in. So uh, if you guys have been waiting on any colors, everything's available now from Spro. It's funny how many swim bait guys popped up when that bait came around, huh? It's the gateway. It made, it made all, it, it is a gateway drug. All right, CJ, this is the part that's not very exciting for me because I usually bring these in solely to mess with Jeff. Mm. Shockingly, we sell so many of these dumb things. But if you guys are a fan of Helger mites, good. Because there are new colors in the Nico Helger mite. <laughs> okay, Jeff, a big bug fan, as mm -hmm. you know, CJ. So uh, restocking all the colors, but three new limited edition colors. So I have green voltage very natural Ooh. looking, kind of a radiation kind of Helgramite. I have Copper Truce. Very fancy. And I have Green Pumpkin Orange. Okay, so three new colors of Helgramite. 
while I was pulling these, I was playing with this Helgramite. So big restock in the 4.25 Helgramite. Also, if I ever see a Helgramite that looks like this in the water while I'm fishing, I'm out. Yeah, so you're done. Do that the dinosaur. I'm I am so out. Do you ever see Jeff or Jeff? I combined Griff and Jeff. You ever Jeff. see <laughs> you ever see Jeff? You ever see Griff scare people out of a fishing spot? No. Please. You've never watched it? Please break it down. I would love oh to know. God. Dude, Griff only Griff could get away at this. So if we pull up to like a shore fishing spot and there's somebody in his spot, most of the time, like I would just go, Oh damn, somebody's there, I'm gonna keep going. Sure. Not Griff. Right, right. Griff's like, Oh, just stop right here, I'll get that spot. And I'm like, how are you gonna get it? And so he'll literally just walk up to the guy and be like, you catching him? The guy will be like, no. He'll be like, ah. Oh. And he will just stand there, like uncomfortably no. close until it's so no. uncomfortable that the dude's finally like, all right, dude, have a good day. And he'll leave. Because it's obvious that Griff ain't gonna leave. And Griff's like, all right, cool, I got the spot. That's legendary. Right? Yeah. This would be how you could remove me from a spot. <laughs> If I saw somebody that looked like this, I am so fucking out of there, man. No way. I was but, waiting to see one of those on my leg when we were in Japan. Fish for Yamame, dude. Disgusting. Ugh. Yeah. But, you know, Nico, if you guys are new to Nico, Nico is all elastomer plastics. So they're going to be very similar to like a Z Man Elastic. You're going to want to keep them separated. Do not put them with other plastics. They're going to be super durable, super high float. So a lot of guys drop shot this and do different stuff with it and catch a ton of fish on it. Obviously, Helgramites are a good source of food. I just don't want to see a four inch one oh, in no. person. Okay. Well, we're on Nico. Four new colors in the Niku. The Niku. I'm just. I'm Niku drunk. and Jif. Yeah. The, uh, the Super Net from Nico. So. This is a little bit thicker than like a TRD, but again, it's gonna be that elastomer material, so it's gonna be super stretchy. Uh, so we see four new colors. So this one is green voltage. Okay, so that also comes in this. We see magma, nice classic color. Mm -hmm. We see firebug, it's kind of like a camo, like an old school Berkeley camo with like a little bit of red. I kind of dig this color a lot. And then we see susky gold. I also really like that this one. That one's pretty cool, yeah, I like yeah. that one. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this one. Yeah, let's check that one out. I like all those colors, but this one's kind of dirty. It's almost like it's a core shot. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. it's almost like clear, but then it's got that green. So again, elastomer material. So super durable, super stretchy. It's gonna be high flow. Just make sure you guys keep them separated uh, from your other plastics. But there you go, those are new this week from Nico. A new worm from Nico. This is the official launch of the six inch shaky worm. Now, Nico has had various worms, Zaza worm and different worms over the past. Uh, they've kind of combined the best of their worms into one solid uh, worm that they're calling the shaky worm, okay? So, uh, obviously, you can rig it on a shaky head if you want. You can put it on a Ned head. Uh, you can drop shot it. You can do whatever you want with this worm, but it's gonna be that same elastomer material. So you're gonna get a super high float, super stretchy worm. Uh, a lot of guys are, are wacky rigging it too. So you can put it on a weighted wacky, uh, put it right through the egg sack, and you're gonna get a super high float worm while that weight's pulling it down. You're gonna get a lot of movement on the way down. So it could be a really cool player for you if this is something that speaks to you. So there are a handful of colors in here. I'm gonna fly through it and there's a couple of neat uh, offerings in there. So there's a June bug. There's a black Aurora, which is just kind of like a clean, kind of clearish black color. I like that one. There's Earthworm. Pretty straightforward. There is Spiced Amber. There's New Galaxy. Green Pumpkin, of course. <laughs> and then if you just can't decide, right, you don't know what color you want, there's assortment A and assortment B. No way. Okay, so four different colors inside. So assortment A is June bug, earthworm, green pumpkin, and like a black and blue. And assortment B is that Aurora black, uh, the spiced amber, it's like kind of green pumpkin, gold, and a black and blue. So hmm. uh, you can have four different worms in four different colors. You just want to try it, uh, which is, I don't know, I'm kind of curious if this speaks to you guys if it's worth it or if you know what colors you like. So uh, there you go. New worm, new offering from Nico. Two more offerings from Nico that are new this week. The Winnow 95, there's a new Tennessee shad color. 
Okay, so pretty straightforward. It looks like everybody's Tennessee shod, but it's a nice, good, clean, gizzard shod type color uh, in the Window 95. And again, the Window's kind of a popular one too because that'll last summer material, so it's gonna give you a lot of durability. Also, the Nico Craw gets a new Blue Moon color. So That's it's cool. kind of a smoky black-blue color. Uh, Black-blue at the core kind of turns to like a smoky claw, and then you get those blue pinchers. If, if you guys are black-blue, you know, guys, this would be a good one for you, so. Cool new color from them in the Nico Crop. All right, a very important segment, CJ. <laughs> I've been waiting for this one. Okay. A month or so ago, we dropped the Turtle Box speaker, right? Has absolutely nothing to do with fishing. It has everything to do with playing some jams. Having a good time. Right? So uh, we have a new color this week. This is the OG green, kind of a cool color. Uh, this is a super dope speaker. If this is something that speaks to you guys or that you need, uh, completely waterproof, dust proof. You can bang this thing around. If you come into our store, we have two of them floating in our test tank and you can literally have music blaring, push them underwater. You, can, you hear it underwater, you pull it out. It shoots the water off and you're good to go. So if you guys are, you know, partying, uh, you're, at the river, you're on the bank, if you need one for your boat. Uh, they float, they're fully submersible. You can, they're all Bluetoothed, right? And you can sync two of them. So if you want really loud sound, you can put two of them together and crank it out. So uh, there you go, new OG Green Turtle Box. Nice. Boom. I might just install one in my boat. Oh, that's a good idea. Just cut a hole and put it in there. Quick restock uh, from Shimano, just letting you guys know a couple reels that have been flying out of here. Uh, for you bait finesse guys, the Aldebaran bait finesse is back in both righty and lefty. This has been a tough one. We either have righties in and no lefties or lefties in and no righties. So this is actually the first time maybe since the release uh, that we've had both. So if you guys are looking for an amazing bait finesse reel, this is the one I would recommend uh, over any of the other ones that are on the market. It fishes just like a Conquest bait finesse, but it's smaller, it's lighter, uh, and it's, you know, 400 bucks made in Japan. It's a super sick bait yeah, finesse reel. Sweet. Yeah, so uh, those are available now. Also, the new Metanium DC. Lefties, I'm sorry, still not getting any trickle for you. Uh, but righties, I got a restock. So the 70 XG and the Metanium DC. This is the brand new Metanium. Uh, we'll just take it out and just real porn for a minute. Mm -hmm. This has become, so I've always been a fan of Metanium DCs. I've always loved them. I knew when they were coming out with this new one that I would love it. And it's, it's becoming one of my favorite reels. So uh, for smaller, lighter weight, rods it's just a perfect fit for it. that new 70 size is great it's a smaller footprint it sits in the hand well it casts great uh, the settings on the side are super easy everything's just really easy to control right there no more taking the side plate off so i think you guys will really dig it so 70 size for righties with tmdc back and then let's wrap things up cj with a few rods so uh, a couple weeks ago we did a classic rod release where we launched GLX, PhysX, Zillion, X10, all at the same time. I got a lot of heat for not loving the PhysX. <laughs> I thought that was your favorite. Look, I I want to be wrong, but if you guys love it, that's great. We have some new models in that we didn't have before. In spinning the 610 medium light extra fast is in. This is the kind of go-to drop shot rod in the PhysX lineup. So that would be a great addition for you guys. We also have some new 7.4s, some 7.5s, some 7.6s. Also the 7.2 medium is a great kind of square bill rod. So it's built nice and soft. It's a medium moderate. So this would be a good all around crankbait rod for you uh, if there's a line that you guys are into. So check them out. If you're a PhysX fan, if you're into it, if you're curious about it, new models on those. We also see new models from Zillion this week as well. So uh, new spinning and a new casting. So on the spinning side, we see the 701 medium light flex light spin. Okay, Ooh. so flex light, if you guys remember, is kind of the glass composite that they used to do in Steez that they're now doing in Zillion. So now you have a seven foot, basically medium light glass composite spinning rod designed to throw a jerk bait, uh, smaller top waters, lighter, I would say up to half ounce uh, reaction baits. I'll spec it for you, it's 16th to 3 eighths 
but I think you can push it. So I wouldn't go any bigger than like a 110. It's really not that rod. That's still gonna be better on a Ronin, but like your smaller reaction-based stuff is gonna be perfect on this. Line, four to 10 pounds. So, you know, smaller jerks, that kind of stuff. Kind of a cool rod to yeah. have a flex light and a spin. There's also the 701 medium light flex light cast also. Okay, so specs, uh, eighth to half ounce, six to 14 pounds. So again, it's gonna be that glass composite rod uh, for throwing lighter crankbaits, smaller jerk baits, that kind of stuff. So if those speak to you, uh, those are available now as well. And then finally, we've been talking a lot about the Orochi X10. This is uh, your final call for pre-orders. They should be arriving towards the end of this next week. So if you guys have pre-ordered, you're gonna have the first ones out. Whatever is left, we will post up once we've shipped all pre-orders. Orochi X10 is gonna be a pretty limited release. So, you know, if there's anything that really speaks to you, I would recommend scooping it up, especially since the shipping time is gonna be quicker than we initially thought, which is great. If you are curious, I know we've been getting a lot of questions on a full breakdown of the entire product line. We shot that earlier uh, this month or later last month. Anyways, we're gonna post it this week for you. Stay tuned, you'll be able to see the full breakdown of everything on there. Uh, but if there's been anything that's been speaking to you, this would be a great chance to get it. They'll be shipping very, very soon. All right, my friends, that is a wrap. CJ, there's a few sips left, cheers. Cheers. Uh, cheers to you guys. CJ, anything, I mean, other than crack it, I know you're addicted to swim baits. Yeah, anything, I've been tweaking out over that one a little bit. Anything stand out to you as a favorite? Hey, you know, it's cool that we got some Roman stuff in. Roman made. Yeah, it's you are a swim bait guy at heart. Yeah, Forget you know. About this. Yeah. It's the wood grain for me. Understood. Uh, I'm super still. Well, I like pretty much everything that we dropped today. Mm, uh, the Max Squeaker, too. I'm into, but the Max Squeaker is really exciting for me because I throw a buzz bait almost year round. So, super stoked to have that back. Obviously, the crackhead. Everybody loves a crackhead. Oh, yeah. Right? Who doesn't love a little crack? Right. Head? So, if you guys have questions on anything that we dropped today, uh, whether it's product availability, colors, rigging, how to use, anything like that, drop it down below and I will definitely get answers for you guys. Uh, CG will put links to all the products uh, here if you wanna check any of them out closer. And guys, on behalf of myself and CJ and you know grumpy ass Jeff, wherever in Japan he is right now, uh, and Griff and everybody here at the Hookup Tower guys, thank you for giving us time on your Sunday mornings. It means the world to us. Thank you so much for your support and watching these ridiculous videos. Thank you for your business. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Go hug your family, catch a big fish. If you can find Orion, definitely pick it up. Trust me, as it gets warmer, you're gonna love this beer. So cheers, my friends. Happy Sunday. See you again next week. Peace. See ya.